There has become a thing that's gone on, it seems like in this, especially this last year, where um, mm. uh, ideology is more important than art. And it's just, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, ideology right. trumps art. That, ideology right. trumps individual Terrible. effort. Ideology trumps good. Ideology trumps yeah. entertaining. Calling out the hypocrisy of woke Hollywood, man, truer words have never been spoken. I mean, look at the case of the newest James Bond director. He has accusations levied against him after, get this, going full woke. <laughs> You serious? Now, what makes this even more interesting is this this is a call out by this person. They are saying that that woke interview that he did, where he's pretending to be part of woke Hollywood, that it isn't true at all. Quote, and now, Carrie is out there talking about his female characters. It's like another slap in the face over and over and over. Yeah, he's had an illustrious career. That was a star maker for him. But what happened to me? Nobody cares. Yeah, probably not the smartest move ever, right? Yep, you and I, we're going to talk about this today. And here's a novel concept. If you want to be part of woke Hollywood and pander to the woke crowd, maybe, just maybe, don't have any skeletons in your closet. I mean, really, when you find yourself in the middle of that whirlwind and it's taking away your career and it's swallowing up all your opportunities, yeah, maybe don't complain about it. Why? Because this is the very thing you said you wanted. Ah, fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Oh, man, just like clockwork, isn't it? So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And when I'm going over this story, I want to make something very, very clear to you. I'm not saying that this guy here, he did anything whatsoever. What I'm saying is that while interviewing with the Hollywood Reporter, we had this guy decide he was going to take a woke Hollywood stance when it came to James Bond, discussing the quote-unquote ongoing history of casual misogyny with the character he was now representing, literally calling James Bond a, I'm going to use the word arpist, saying that he had taken advantage of many women, but this version, Daniel Craig's version of Bond, yeah, he wouldn't let that version be marred by casual misogyny. Quote, you can't change Bond overnight into a different person, but you can definitely change the world around him and the way he has to function in that world. It's a story about a white man as a spy in this world, but you have to be willing to lean in and do the work to make the female characters more than just contrivances. Huh. Okay. Now, as is so often in the case when it comes to woke Hollywood, you have somebody come out, they challenge what was just said, basically calling this person a hypocrite. Here's the story from Bounding Into Comics. This was the place that I first heard about this, saying, that same director that's talking about James Bond and the terrible things that he did, the casual misogyny, yeah, that guy was hit with a hashtag accusation for allegedly firing an actress because she wouldn't get naked in front of the camera. Now, these accusations, and please remember that word, by the way, accusations. This stuff, it has not been proven yet. We're talking about reports coming from the Daily Beast, too, and everyone Everyone deserves due process. Now, this accusation, it deals with the show True Detective. This was this director's breakout hit, by the way. You had them attached to this, then you had them attached to it, then you had them attached to James Bond. Well, the actress here says that she was fired from True Detective because, get this, she refused to go topless after the same director that, again, he went on this diatribe about James Bond, put heavy pressure on her, despite her never agreeing to do anything like that and not having it anywhere in her contract. Now, like I was saying previously, the reason that all of this came up wasn't because this actress has been trying to take this guy down. Nope, it's because of that interview. Because that guy decided he would pander to a woke audience while pretending he was woke himself. This is what she had to say. Quote, Although it's been roughly eight years since the incident with True Detective, Greer told 
told the Daily Beast that the incident has always weighed heavily on her, but it recently bubbled to the surface again after she came across an interview with said director given to The Hollywood Reporter, where he spoke of his efforts to bring the latest James Bond movie, No Time to Die, into a post-Me Too world. Now, remember all of those things that he said, by the way? Well, she basically calls him out as a hypocrite, saying those words, they ended up ringing hollow for her because she says that's exactly the way that he treated her on the set of True Detective. She basically refuses, again, to go topless. You have a 10-minute standoff with the director, who she claims tried every bargaining tactic that he could have to try to convince her to agree to go nude. When she said that she wasn't going to back down, citing not having a nudity writer in her contract and her overall feeling discomfort when it came to this idea, she was sent home. Her speaking role, she said, handed to an extra with no acting experience, but who agreed that they would do the topless scene. Now listen to this, and remember, by the way, this guy, he also advocates for listen and believe. So you're supposed to believe this, too. Quote, It was disheartening. It felt bad. You can't just treat people like all they are is a pair of tits. That is very hurtful. And now, Carrie is out here talking about his female characters. It's like another slap in the face over and over and over. Yeah, he has had an illustrious career. That was a star maker for him. And you know what happened to me? Nobody cares. That was the human element that was missing that is so hurtful to me that you could just look at somebody, a young girl who is starting out in her career, who doesn't want to show everything she's got naked on camera, spur of the moment, and you can't understand that. He knew that he wasn't doing it above board. He knew. What's more, that same director that supposedly respects women, yeah, he told her that he would end up fixing this after that 10-minute standoff, only for her to have this alleged experience. Quote, she recalls heading back to the trailer, thinking they would either reconstruct the framing of the shot or photo double her. Instead, when one of the producers finally turned up at the trailer hours later, he sat down and simply said they had found someone else to play the part. She was fired. Yep, respecting women the woke Hollywood way, right? And there's more to that, too. She has plenty more to say. You can look that Daily Beast article up. She talks about how clearly disposable she was, how utterly disrespected she felt. I mean, this stuff, it is crazy considering what he had to say. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work, so thank you. Want to help out the channel in a different way, by the way? Well, there are links in the the description. You being here, though, that matters. So thank you. Appreciate you. Going to end here. See you soon, too. Thanks.